Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nolan with the Spawners Lounge, and today we're going to be hitting up the stores like Best Buy, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Spawners Lounge. So we're actually going to be going to some stores such as like Best Buy, such as GameStop. Uh, we're just going to be looking around for some items that would be useful here soon in the future that I intend to get for my gaming PC. Um, so we're about to head out. Let's go. So real quickly, you guys, I just wanted to kind of show you um, what I am been working with. So this is a PC that I built myself. And you know, let me go ahead and power it on. Ooh, look at that. It's so pretty. So this PC is rocking an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 6 core processor to 3.2 gigahertz uh, overclocked. And then I'm also rocking a NVIDIA GTX uh, 1050 uh, by Gigabyte. Um, got eight gigs of RAM. Um, real nice motherboard by uh, MSI. It's a uh, Gaming Plus uh, B350 Gaming Plus, and yeah, this is uh, this is basically what I've been working with. And then here's a little bit of my setup. I had to turn this one off due to whoop, there we go due to the uh, reflection. But yeah, so this is kind of what I've been working with for a little while. Got the uh, really nice mouse over here. Um, God, what's this Logitech G5502 uh, um, and then yeah this is uh, this is everything I've been working with you guys so we're gonna head to the store all right you guys we just made it to the Best Buy top inside all right where shall we go first why don't we go see if we can find some capture cards. All right, we're in the computer section. Look at this. Different Ryzen's. Ryzen 3. What's this one? Ryzen. If we can focus. Got the Ryzen 5 to uh, 2400G for only 169. Look at that. We even have a Ryzen 7 3700X 8 cores, 16 thread processor. But for how much? Look at this, guys. This is my pair of headphones. Though I got these on Amazon for $69.99. So you might go check if you're interested in these ones. These are really, 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 really good quality. So if you guys are interested, go check it out on Amazon. It's $69.99 there. It's the HyperX Cloud 2s. And uh, the sound, man, I tell you what got some amazing stuff. The bad boy we came to take a look at was the Elgato HD 60 Pro. It even says stream and record perfectly. Stream and record your Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo gameplay. So there it is you guys right there. We've got the HD 60 Pro Elgato capture card. Currently 179, which is not too bad, but I'm pretty sure we can uh, look around online and probably find one on Amazon. Here, let me fix my hand. I'm pretty sure we can find one. Pretty sure we can find one on Amazon, a little cheaper than 179, but that's not too bad of a price for a capture card. And then of course we've also got the HD60S, which is also 179. So we've even got an analog audio HD MI in, and then a three point type C and then the output and then with the HD 60 Pro we got this one actually mounts into your computer so that's that one's really cool I might actually look into this one a little more but yeah it's got the PCIe X PCIe X1 connection and then um, it's also got the HDMI in and out on the uh, on the outside so be easy to actually just mount this and then we've also got some lighting over here you guys I've been actually wanting to get some lights to put on the inside of my PC so we've got the lighting hub looks like it's only a two port but it also it actually looks like it uh, also has a few power strips inside 
And then of course we've got some RGB LED Lighting Pro by Corsair. These are actually, I think these are fans. Looking at it, it's ex actually an expansion kit. So actually it's an expansion kit. So basically this actually includes four Corsair RGB LED light strips. Also guys, kind of excuse this background music right back here. I don't know how much audio of that it's picking up over my voice. Of course, at the moment guys, we're taking our first look at an 8K TV and wow you guys. I've got a 4K in my living room, but wow, this is, this is something else super pretty super clean lines too like look at that look at that quality that's insane all right so let's actually go over to the game section over here and take a look at some of that stuff hello nintendo it's like i'm coming home of course nintendo is actually my favorite game provider uh over xbox and playstation but don't get me wrong, I love me some PlayStation, and I'll dabble with some Xbox, I don't really have one, but let's take a look at what we got here. So let's see what this one is. This is actually called Enter the Dungeon. Gungeon, rather. And there's not very much info on it, except that it is by Devolver. We're gonna have to take a look at this later. So this is something I just noticed is Kill a Kill, which I actually just finished not too long ago, has a game out for the Switch. What do you know? Explore hot-blooded action from the original anime series. Very nice. Let's see if we can't get a good look. And surprisingly, it's two players. Look at this Wario. I kind of want him. I kind of want him just to put on my shelf. That would be so great. But sadly, at the moment, it's 20 bucks. So maybe later. So if I were going to get an amiibo, guys, which one would it be out of these? Which one do you think I would actually choose? We got Zero Suit Samus, Dr. Mario, Pichu, Wii Fit Trainer, Bayonetta, Pac Man, and Shulk. If any of them, I'd probably be getting Zero Suit Samus. I'd love to have a Zero Suit Samus. I really would also really like a normal Samus, but Pac-Man would be cool, and so would Dr. Mario. Um, I really want some more Amiibos, because all the ones I really have are all Zelda ones. I want some other Smash Amiibos. Has anybody ever played Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube? Gotta say, one of my favorites. But I do remember they actually brought the original GameCube version to the 3DS super fun game definitely recommend it and then of course we've also got zelda ocarina of time 3d over here maybe we'll do a gameplay on that here sometime soon um not really too sure if we're going to or not um but but it's 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 been on my mind it's been on my mind accessories over here so let's take a look this is actually something i've been wanting to get for a while let's see if we can't focus so it's the power a Come on, camera. Power A wireless GameCube controller. And I particularly want this for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I play a ton with some of my friends. And then I also like that it's got two shoulder buttons instead of just the one on the right. It does look a little thicker than um, what they usually are, but hey, that's all right. It'd be so much more convenient to have one of these. Though, I don't know how the response time is. So, that's definitely something I'd want to check out. And we've even got some real nice pro controllers here. Super Mario. Just a white and black. We've got more adapters down here. Retro controller hub. Which we actually have one of the official Nintendo ones. Uh, and then, I've actually been curious, I really want to get one of these because I like to go handheld and charge it at the same time, and this would make things so much more convenient. 
So like I said, you guys, I'm not much of an Xbox player, but wow, look at this controller. I do love the Xbox triggers. I love the Xbox controller. It's very comfortable in the hand, and one of my favorites is the uh, joysticks, which for my Pro Controller actually has some uh, Xbox joysticks, some official ones that I had bought off of Amazon. So guys, I actually just came across some of the PlayStation games, and oh my god, did I just get stuck. I actually have this uh, full collection of the Kingdom Hearts games, all of them, and then this is the one I've really, really, really been wanting. And once I do, I definitely plan on doing some gameplay. I've played a little bit at my friends, but not super far. But yeah, definitely want to play. Then I've also got Sims 4. I can re-download on that, that on my computer through uh, Origin. Um, don't know if I'm going to yet or not. But uh, And then the other one I saw is Red Dead 2. Okay guys, so I actually had to switch over to my normal phone, um, my camera kind of ran out of space, so we're just going to kind of continue the video off of here, which, you know, it's whatever, um, but yeah, I actually came across something else. Tons of anime, and I will even point out everything I've seen or am currently watching. Seen everything up to date, well actually up to season 3, currently restarting season 3 since they dubbed it. Seeing all of this, seeing all of this, except for like the last two episodes. Castlevania, seen that. Started Dragon Ball Super, got about 50 episodes in, but then I kind of like stopped. Um, as of t as of this date, I started watching Fairy Tale on Netflix, and then let's see what else. I've been here and here. Academia is really, really good, so I need to start that. Naruto, currently watching that, um, probably about halfway through the original Naruto, and then can't wait to start shipping in. I've seen Princess Mononoke, and I thought there was something else here I saw, maybe not. So guys, there's only probably about one or two more things that I want to check out, and that's uh, some of the bones, so let's go take a look at those real quick. So here we are guys, we just made it over to the phones particularly Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I have been wanting one of these for a good, good while. And look at that Prism White. It's such a pretty phone, such a pretty display. We've even got the uh, S10 and then the S10e, which the S10e is uh, a little cheaper. It's kind of on the, um, the it's, it's more of the cheaper side. It uh, doesn't have the round edges, such as these ones, but it is flat, and it's basically got everything these two do. I think there's a few minor things, such as the fingerprint, fingerprint scanner, the supersonic fingerprint scanner, um, and then of course, the brand new Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus, and wow, those are gorgeous displays like wow even the back feels really nice got that note 10 plus so guys taking a look here after searching up my name on the phone here I'm only my most previous video is only seven videos down Yippee! Which is crazy. I know there's only three views. It was only posted a day ago, but we're slowly getting there, you guys. We're getting there. All right, you guys. We actually just left the store. I spent a little extra time in there um, outside of video making because there are a few things I was looking at. That phone was uh, asking a little bit on, you know, what I could do for finance and whatnot. So um, maybe in a few weeks we'll get that. These little vlogs will be in better quality for sure. Um, but at the moment, we're just gonna head home. Maybe take a, I'll probably take a look at some of the stuff we looked at before and start getting ideas on uh, some, some pricing and whatnot. So yeah, let's go ahead and head back to the house. Actually, you guys, as we were on the way home, we were actually conveniently going past GameStop. So why don't we actually go see what kind of deals they have going on, what kind of games are for sale and whatnot. So Let's go take a look. Yeah. 
Hello. So I got a few other things here, you guys, like uh, some more of those controllers. Here's a gold one. That one's really nice. And then a few, few other things, screen protectors and stuff. If you actually look here, this particular Pro Controller has those concave joysticks, like the Xbox do, which is my favorite. And we got several, several games up here. Yeah, the attendant was actually telling me there's a little bit of a deal where um, that they have going on. It's like a five percent back or a five, like it's five or ten percent back on like collectibles and stuff. You buy multiple, you get a little bit, you save a little bit on uh, the more you get. So we're actually going to go take a look at some of those collectibles because that'd be really nice to have an extra thing. Here's the, some Naruto, and some Star Wars. Dragon Ball Z, Spider-Man, stuff like that, and The Flash, one of my favorite superheroes, The Flash. We even got a little rupee lamp, nightlight. Okay, so we're at the collectibles, and let's see what we have here real quick. So, we got a few things. We got some Zelda over here, like a little notebook. That one's kind of cool. It's kind of heavy. It's a little uh, premium as notebook. And then that's really nice. These emblems are actually kind of sticking out. And that's really nice. And then it's got gold edge paper. Got a nice little piranha plant here. It's got a little button, but I don't think it, it, you can try it. We got some Zelda Uno. That's kind of cool. Little emblem. Our emblem. Nine ninety nine. We got a got a flash nightlight. Got a game over nightlight over here, which is this one. Thirty bucks. It's pretty cool. I like it. Maybe I should uh maybe I should get one soon. Looks like it has multiple lights, color phasing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. And I think it might have a speaker too or something. And it looks like it plays music. Ultra retro type, coloring phase, RGB, micro USB connection. Yeah. And we got some bleach in the back. One of my favorite series that I'm currently watching. I think I'm on episode 197 as of right now. Or actually 198 is the next one. We got some Samus over here. Wow. Look at this. Got a Samus with multiple colors. I really like this one. They should have this color in Super Smash. That's so nice. What's the what's the price on this one? $22.99. Not too bad, I guess. Alright guys, look, we've even got a few more Amiibos. Particularly, I would love to have this one. Lucas is my boy. So is Ness, or um, Kirby, rather. Kirby is also my boy. I play a mean, mean Kirby. That's for sure. And we've got Fox, that'd be really cool to have. There's a Fox Amiibo. Now that I even use Fox that much, but like, it'd be cool to just have him part of my collection. So, I also like playing Dungeons and Dragons. I play 5th uh, edition with some of my friends and stuff. And I came across this. It's a Stranger Things starter kit for, uh, for Dungeons and Dragons. It's got the character sheets. Those look like standard character sheets. Yeah, they're standard. And then... It's probably got a map and everything, but it does come with a set of dice. You got your D20, um, all, all your dice, D6, D8, D10, both D10s. Um, but it even comes with some little figures here. Here, let me turn it around. It comes with a little Demogorgon figure. That's pretty cool. And then one other thing I noticed here was the Super Metroid puzzle for only $9.99. It's a 550 piece. I've done bigger. Um, actually, I'll probably show you guys some of my puzzles up on my wall. Mostly all Zelda. I think all Zelda, actually. Um, but yeah, definitely that one. And then 
the Game of Thrones Westeros map. So that would be a really cool one to do as well. And this one is also $9.99, so not too bad. Alright guys, so that kind of completes the little adventure. So at this point we're going to head back to the house. super good well anyway, you guys that's the end of the video thank you for joining in um going around with me checking out some different items at the store things that are gonna hopefully help with uh, all these videos uh it's definitely that elgato capture card is one thing i really 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 need and would really like because i want to be able to share uh, some of the games i already have uh, through my playstation through my switch uh, through all my other game consoles, I want to be able to show you guys some of that gameplay too. Um, so hopefully soon we'll be able to get one of those. But yeah, until next time guys, thanks for joining into the Smart Lounge, and I'll see you later.